Hey everybody and welcome back to Zach's MRE Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at probably the most special ration I currently own and might ever own. And that is my World War II Vintage K Ration. Obviously it's the dinner module, well, meal. Um, yeah, since I got this thing, I put some photos up on the Facebook page and stuff and I've been kicking around whether or not I should try to open this because it's still, this thing is still sealed. A little rip there, but it's still otherwise sealed on that end. And it's still sealed here. So, I'm kicking it around, kicking it around, kicking it around, and finally I decided, you know, the ration reviewer in me wants to open this thing up, and kind of what's the point? of having this thing just sitting on a shelf staring at me and me wanting to open it but me constantly having to tell myself no no don't try to open it so I finally thought about it and I found it's like you know what what's the point so I'm gonna get her opened up it's about, I'm gonna do it as nicely and neatly as I can I'm gonna try to preserve it as much as I can and hopefully be able to actually put all or most of the contents back in and even reseal the carton too for display purposes but but I don't plan on ever reselling this or anything else like that too, so I'm not worried about resale value on it or or like flipping it or, or for a profit or anything else like that. Like this is this is mine. This is always going to be mine, and uh, most likely it'll end up being one of my kids as well. So, so for that matter, I, I, value wise, I could care less. So that that's 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 the other thing that prompted me to say, okay, you know what? Let's let's take a look at her. So. So anyway, that's enough ramblings for me. So at this point, I'm going to stop the video, and I don't, you, you probably won't even be able to tell that much in, in terms of editing, except for the fact that uh, it'll go from sitting here sealed to next, and you can hear the baby in the background. She's, she's part of this too. Um, the next video clip you'll see will be, this will be opened. So that's going to be the difference. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how I'm going to get it open right now, so... I don't want to fart around and do the whole thing on camera and end up with a 45 minute long video and three quarters of that is me trying to open this thing and that that's boring and I'm not going to put you through that. So, just wanted to do an opening and an introduction, explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to pause it now and try to get her open. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Say some prayers that nothing falls apart and be back with you. Alright, I'm going to take a minute here give you a quick update. As you can see here, I was able to penetrate yeah. Shut up. The outer the outer carton here. A little, little damage there, but when you put it back together, you can't tell, so. And there's the inner wax sealed box. Go ahead and try to get that slid out. Alright, she's stuck in there a little bit, so I'm, again, I'm not going to bore you with that, so I'm going to stop the video here and work on it, so be back with an update. Alright, I'm back with a quick update. I ended up having to open up the other end of the box here to get, it, uh, to get the inner box unstuck. Luckily, I didn't have to cause too much damage that wasn't already there. So if I take my time, I should be able to uh, reassemble it pretty nice. And I decided, I was just telling the wife that... Uh, I'm going to reassemble the outer box and leave the outer box as its own portion of the display. 
and then what remains of the inner box I'm gonna leave as its own portion of the display so I end up with two display pieces instead of uh, instead of just the one all all in one so yep so that's where we stand right now just no mad I'd open up this other side but you know what you gonna do not much so I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of these one of these flaps here and yeah then dust off the table and we'll be back all right last update and continuation of the video we're in I was able to get the outer flap of this the uh, Sorry about that, she had she just had to say that. I got the flaps of this inner wax dipped box open. I was so nervous and so excited all at the same time. <laughs> I can't. It's a weird feeling I haven't felt in a long time. A little 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 pissed about the outside box, but because that, that is a really nice looking box, but like I said hopefully I can get some glue and get some glue action going on here and get that back to the way it was when I bought it. Uh, it'll never be brand new, obviously, but looking in here, this thing looks, dare I say, in really good condition. I've seen some out there, and uh, they're, they're pretty hurting, and I don't know, this one, knock on wood, uh, yeah, seems to be okay. So, let's, without further ado, let's see if I can wiggle some of this stuff out. There we go. Look at that. Is there a hundred year old, roughly speaking, a hundred year old cigarette? Not, not quite, but 70 some years. But Check those out. Oh my god, that's so exciting. A little crushed, but whatever. Look at that. And I forgot to add in my intro here, the other reason I wanted to get this open, because I'm actually further interested in what's in it because uh, my great-grandfather on uh, my dad's side uh, fought in World War II so this is actually something he would have eaten so I just that was the other reason I want to get this open I was just very curious to see what he would have seen opening one of these sitting out in a field in Belgium and yeah it smells oh it smells terrible but um but yeah he was with the 80, 84th infantry division the rail splitters and uh, he was captured Christmas Eve 1944 during the Battle of the Bulge in Belgium, outside a village in Belgium. And he spent the rest of the war in Stalag 4B in, I believe it was Muehlberg, Germany. And then at the end of the war he was repatriated and lived out the rest of his life back here in the States. So, here's our can. As every single one of these I've ever seen before, this one's hurting. You should put gloves on and do that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever's in there is hurting. <laughs> and his wife says I should put on a pair of gloves. So. Blah, blah, blah. I only do that if I'm opening up known rancid food. And not You have it. to know this is right. I know, but I'm not opening this. Like, I'm not going to open that can. Are you kidding me? It's a horror show. <laughs> this, at one point in time. On camera. It was, at one point, processed American cheese. And knock off some of the rust here. There. There's our pool tab. The bottom. I'll try to use a, a nylon brush to clean this up a little bit before I try to put it all back in the box. Here's. It doesn't look like this one 
was attached. Here's our key. Let's open it. There's our key. Pretty cool. These are matches. Check those things out. Mosquito bites cause malaria. There you go. Good information to have. Yep, the baby agrees. What that front says is, if you are in a malaria zone, keep your shirt on and your sleeves rolled down. Use mosquito pellant, repellent Jesus, when out of doors. Between sunrise, I can't see the rest. There we go. Between sunset and sunrise, close cover before striking. There's our matches. Then, as I noticed, the back of this, the baby just tipped over. She's okay, but this little item stuck back there. There you go. This is a piece of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. How about that? Check that out. Oh. Wow. Look at that. It's so cool. There's the other side. Try to get some still shots of, the, of all this stuff and inc yeah, include it in the video edit. Either at the beginning or the end. But. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I can't. It is so neat. Like I said, I'm a little, still a little up in the air on whether I should have done this or not, but most of me is pretty, pretty happy right now. So, there you go, that's looking in. <laughs> here's our, here's the rest of our components in an original, I forget exactly what kind of pla plastic this is, but there it is, is our biscuits and everything else, look at that. Of course, and she's going to tip it over. I've seen, oh, that's, that's all that's in there by the way. Get that set aside there. You know, I, I've seen so many of these open, you know, I've seen these opened on vi videos before and stuff and just to be sitting here with my own is just, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm going to be honest. It's pretty cool. It's definitely worth the price they paid. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say exactly what I paid for this, but uh, I will say a, a, a few, a few, or several, depending on your definition of the two words, hundred dollars for this one inedible ration. Yeah. Now, now next question. Do I smoke one of the cigarettes? No. I don't know. A big part of me says, do it. A big part of me says, when else are you going to get the chance to do this? <laughs> big part of me thinks it's a bad idea. So, anywho. I'm going to try to get that opened up. I got a bit of a mess going there. Let me hand grab a plate. Just try to, try to minimize the amount of uh, crud I get down here on the table and so on. Check that out, though. Look at that. Incredible. It's in great shape for how old it is. Let's see what we could do here. And I'm probably, I really have no plans to keep the plastic, but still, I'll try to open it nice. Honestly, most likely everything that's inside this will end up in the garbage. Because, you know, those are beautiful oh, shapes. So Look at the condition, though. Look at that. Not an ounce of nothing. Not. Look at that. Look that at is go. clean. Hey, honestly, I think out of all these I've seen open, this is one of the cleanest pack of biscuits I've seen. There you go, from Nabisco. Check those out. Now I know these are horribly inedible, so 
Don't get me wrong. I'm, probably, I'm almost certainly well. It probably tastes just like the moth. Well, I got. Salad. Yeah. Well, no, no. This is sealed in wax. It, it doesn't mm. matter. Ugh. I got two packs of these. I might open open one just for the hell of it, but the other one I'm probably gonna just keep sealed, just for uh, display. You know, keep one nice. So, so we got those. Here's our second pack. They get four each, so eight total. What the heck you got? No. Why? Yeah, but why? Remember, those are left. A lot. Uh, here we go. Pack of vanilla caramels. From EJ Brock and Sons, Chicago. Check that. Look at that. In here, check this out. Granulated, fine granulated sugar. Packaged by Patent Food Products, Chattanooga, Tennessee. 23 grams. Holy crap, it's still good. That's not caked up or nothing. That's that's perfectly good. Wow. The camera's not gonna cooperate, but Wow, I can't believe that's still loose. And then we have our lemon juice powder. Synthetic. That is manufactured by Henry Hyde Incorporated. The other side, ingredients list. Yeah, it's to be expected, but it's pretty solid. Don't, like, don't, because you don't want it to rip, right? I don't know. Part of me wants to open this up, throw some water on it, and see what we got. I wouldn't. No, oh, naysayer. And that's it for that portion of it, so. Get that out of the way. Ugh, cleaned out some, cleaned out some food out of the kitchen here. and Garbage bag stinks, I gotta get that out outside today. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, frankly, the garbage bag smells worse than this uh, 70 plus year old ration. I don't know. I think both smells are fighting with each other. So. Give me a minute here. I'm going to try to. I'm going to throw that lemon powder in a cup. Give me a minute here. Let me get some water in a cup and such. I'll be right back. All right. We're back. Exactly. Baby's yelling at me in the background. I'm going to go ahead and get the. Lemon powder, juice powder opened up. That is oxidized. Oh, look at that. I don't think any anything usable out of that, but gotta try. Just smells like lemon, that's for sure. And again, I don't think I'm gonna get anything good out of that. But... I don't know. Let's just sit a minute, see what happens. So, well, that's going. Go ahead, open up these caramels. Look at that; they're perfect. I can't get over that. There we go. Get the rest of that nice.
still smells like a vanilla caramel. Holy shit, it's soft. Yeah, you see my little teeth mark there. Look at that. I can't believe that's still even close to me. I can't. I don't have words. I don't have words. I mean, it tastes a little funny, obviously, as you'd expect. There you go, I just ate 70 year old caramel. That has now become the officially oldest thing I've ever consumed doing these. <laughs> See if anything bad happens to me because of that. I'm not gonna go beyond that little nibble. I don't. I'm not that crazy. Exactly. She's calling me stupid. <laughs> Next, I just, I, I want to want to check out the sugar. Really. <laughs> it's killing me. I just I'm, I'm curious. I want to look at it. Using the knife off camera here to. Open it up nice because I'll try to glue this box closed because it's cool. There it is. That's not about you, but to me that looks perfectly fine. The camo's in there. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. You can pour it on your coffee right now, and it'll be fine. That is so cool. And I'm gonna leave the rest of that in there, and I'm gonna glue this closed again. But I just wanted to see exactly. That's so cool. I can't. I just. I'm beyond myself right now. <clears throat> with how cool this is. And last thing to take a look at is like I said, I'll open up a pack of these biscuits just for just for the heck of it. Biscuits. Oh yeah, you can smell that shortening. It's gone south in there. Oh yeah. Yep, that was bad. What, was, what did you do? I ate a part of the biscuit. Oh, oh. God, Zach. Yeah, yeah. I gave her her very first panda. I heard, that's great. But anyway, so yes, they are as disgusting as you would think. Oh, but again, I had to. I had to. I, 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 ate one of the I ate part of one of the caramels. It's still soft and chewy, as if it was brand new. Oh. Doesn't taste that way, I'll say that. Oh but, but it's still soft and pliable still. Usually you get those things that rock hard stuff. No, these are perfect. I cannot believe you. These things are perfect. <clears throat> still taste vanilla, still taste caramel, just a little funky. Wow. Is that? And frankly, it's... Please don't take a sip of that. This thing scares the hell out of me. So you know what that means. I'm going to try a little. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to put my mouth out and I'm going to take a big gulp or anything, but I'm going to take a little sip. Got a little in that spoon there. Whew. 
Ooh, that's strong lemon. Oh. Ooh, pucker factor. Mmm. You definitely have that, you gotta definitely add that granulated sugar into here. Oh, this is pure lemon, not an ounce of sweetness, pure sour oh. puckerness. Frankly, it's not that bad. Oh my god. Oh. Woo! Tart. Until later tonight. Dang. Like, uh, I don't feel good. That could be from either the caramel, the biscuit, or the lemon juice, so. Hey, at least I'm not trying that cheese. I'm not, I'm crazy, but I'm not that stupid. What, what is the cheese, that? The can, yeah. Well, you can hear it's solid, there's no. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's completely un, unedible, but. And same with the bubble gum, the gum, chewing gum. And that's too cool, I'm gonna keep that as is. You only get one single piece? One single stick. Wow. Yeah, and look at the back though. That's what I mean. I, I know it's I know it's no good. Hmm. Hmm. So that old tobacco. Back when it was just tobacco and not a bunch of other crap. There you go. You know how this works is this this is inside there and you slide it out. So it keeps that sleeve nice nice and perfect. That is totally going on display. Like, look at that. God. <laughs> There's our four cigarettes. Look at those. That is so cool. Of course, filterless. This is so cool. Oh, you a minute here? I'm try to find a lighter. All right, got my cigarette. Got wife's lighter here. That's why it's pink. Let's see how a really old cigarette tastes. Frankly, it doesn't taste nearly as bad as you would think. Hon, you want it? Hon? No. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to because you're pregnant or anything, but I don't think one pulls in a cosmos. Come on, you don't want to say you smoked a 70 year old cigarette? No, I do not. That's not bad. That is really not bad. So before I make too much steam, put that lemon juice to good use. There we go. But anyway, so there you go. That uh, brings us to the end of probably what's going to be one of my most special ration reviews I ever do. Probably one of the coolest. Honestly. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy I did this. I could say I ate a 70 year old caramel. I smoked a 70 year old cigarette. I mean, so many cool things that just happened here, and I'm 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 pretty ecstatic about it. So she loves those penderoos. <laughs> but anyway, so with that, we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you all for joining me on this very special ration review. As always, I appreciate all of you that take the time to watch these videos and uh, just de put up with me and my blabbering and everything else <clears> I do. <throat> So as always, stay safe out there, everybody. Keep your head up. Stick together. We can get through anything as long as we do. Hit that subscribe button down below. Like, comment if you feel free to. And other than that, until next time, 
we'll see you on the next Ration Review. So from all of us here at Zach's MRE Review, have a good night, and that's it. So, bye. Bye.